what you cook and roach. What smells good? Oh, so good. Roach. Na 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 na. Roach. What you cook and roach? What you cook and? What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. What you cook and roach? All right. And for those that are new to my channel. Welcome. I appreciate the love. All right. So please subscribe and like my videos and leave a comment and tell me what you think. All right. So today I'm going to be making meatloaf. Now meatloaf is one of my favorite dishes to eat with some mashed potatoes. I got that already cooking on the side over here, ready to go. And um, it's one of those recipes that I grew up on. Probably like you know most every, you know a lot of people. You know uh, my grandmother would make this for us. Um, it's quick and easy. Uh, she would just chop up an onion. Now my mom likes to put bell peppers in hers and sometimes I eat it like that too though, but today we're just gonna do it with the onion. All right, so you already know. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so let's get started, all right? So first ingredient, of course, is ground beef, all right? So you can get the 90% lean, um, that's what I prefer, um, but um, get whatever you can afford, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got that, and then we're gonna got our onion. Um, you're gonna chop about maybe a half a cup of that. Uh, you're gonna need one egg, and you're gonna need some uh, breadcrumbs, but I am using cracker crumbs because I prefer to use that in mine, but there's a lot of variation in pink chip uh, crumbs, all, you, all any kind of crumb, Italian, whatever you wanna use, but I prefer to use these uh, saltine crackers, but with that in mind, just keep in mind the salt content when you're seasoning. Oh, your meat, okay? So you're gonna need ground beef, I'm sorry, um, you know, pepper. Um, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna add that in. Even with that, it's to your taste, okay? So, um, minced uh, garlic. Uh, I would prefer to use the fresh garlic, but in this case, this is about making it quick and easy. So you're gonna need a half a cup of milk. Uh, you're gonna need your salt to season to taste. Uh, your Worcestershire -shir sauce, your Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. And we got some garlic. And we got our ketchup, all right? And I am using uh, fresh parsley. You can use uh, dry if you like, if you prefer, all right? And then my um, uh, spray, it's just gonna be putting in the bottom on my, in, on my pan just to keep from my meatloaf sticking, all right? So I'm gonna get all this ingredients and started. So let's get started, all right? Let's go. All right, y'all, so let's get this party started, okay? This meatloaf ain't gonna make itself, okay? So, I got one egg, like I said, so we're gonna scramble that up a little bit. So it looks like it's about ready to crack and break. I'm ready to crack it. Definitely ready to be throwing these away, little chip bears. It's okay, dollar store. So whip that up, alright? We put that in here with our meat. Okay, and then I've already gone ahead and cut up um, the uh, onion already. So we're gonna do like, like I said, half a cup, depending on how much um, ground beef that you have. And then I got my uh, fresh parsley there. We're not gonna use all that. It's probably maybe a maybe a couple of tablespoons of that. And um, got our breadcrumbs, or sorry, not my breadcrumbs, <laughs> my cracker crumbs. All right. So like I said, I got a cup, but you know, you just kind of want to. Do it by eye here and just kind of you know, put it in there. So maybe that's maybe a half cup there. So, all right. And then we got our milk, a cup of uh, milk here. Pour it in there. All right. Then we got our garlic. I'm going to use a tablespoon of this minced garlic. All right. Drop that in there. I might add another tablespoon in there. Two. All right. And so now we have our um, ground pepper. I just want to put half a teaspoon in there. Maybe just do a teaspoon of that. I'll have the, in, the ingredients in the description um, below in the video, okay? Like I said, we got our sea salt. Um, I got like a tablespoon of that. I'm going to put just a little because you know I have those, uh, my saltine crackers in there, all right? So we got our whoosh, shir, 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 shir sauce. Check that up. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that in there. Don't want to overpower it. We're sure it could be very overpowering. All right, so we're just gonna do a tablespoon of that. All right, and then we got our garlic. We'll do about a tablespoon, a teaspoon of, of garlic. Okay, so 
that's my teaspoon now, right? So, now what we're gonna do is mess the crash. We're gonna just blend all this together, okay? I'm just gonna just mush it in there like this. A little kid playing in the mud or something. It's not quite mud, but. So you just wanna make sure you marinate all these ingredients in there. You don't wanna not fully marinate it because then once you start cooking it, it, it starts kind of cooking sloppy. You know, you got pockets where it's not moist and there's parts where it's, you know, like a hamburger or something, you know, a dried up hamburger. <laughs> so let's keep pushing that up. Now keep in mind, my husband doesn't like meatloaf, so he said. So we're gonna see. We don't eat this today, all right? So I got some mashed potatoes that I'm gonna be working on. Wow, this is going to be in the oven. We're going to cook this at a temperature of 350 degrees. And for about an hour. And then while it's cooking, then we'll be making our spread that we're going to put on top of the meat. Oh, spicy, tangy, sweet. Somebody's coming in the house. My son is. Come on in, Amani. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys see what I'm doing here, right? So I'm going to keep at this here until I get it just right, and then I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to put these in mini loaves, all right? I'm going to make some little mini loaves, all right? And then I'm going to get my sweet tangy sauce that I'm going to put on top of it together as well, too, all right? So I'll be right back, guys, all right? All right, this is the gravy. Now, don't be afraid to use, you know, the powder mix that's already in a little package. Like I said, this is supposed to be quick and easy. You can always doctor these little gravies up. But what I'm doing right now, I'm grilling some uh, onion in the back here with a little bit of garlic, as you can see. And um, I got my mashed potatoes. I uh, had those boiling earlier. I'm just warming them back up. Get those on nice and pretty much hot overflow <laughs> that stove all janky too <laughs> all right so while it's doing that my meatloaf is doing its thing as you can see all right it's getting there i'm gonna use some of them juices on that and drippings and then i'm gonna put those in my uh, gravy as well too all right so that's another little trick that you can do all right so we got a little ways to go i got like 25 minutes to go on my um uh meatloaf and uh I'll get back to you guys, all right? All right, y'all. Meatloaf is ready. I'm telling you, it smells good, and I'm hungry, ready to eat. <laughs> but it's worth the wait, and it's not even a long wait, but I'm gonna give it a taste and see where we at here, because it looks good, even the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Now, I ain't making any vegetables, you know, and that's okay. You know, I was thought about it, but I said this should just be enough. All right, so let me give it a taste here, you guys. 
Ooh, so I'll show you inside of that. Look how moist that looks. Oh, man, that's so good. Now, when I was a kid, I used to put ketchup on my meatloaf. I still do. Mmm. <laughs> Talking about, I don't know that gravy look fire. Mm. Okay. All right. Put a little salt, not much. Mm -hmm. All right. Warm up. <laughs> All right. Let me clean my mouth before I come back and start talking. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to clean my mouth off. I was smacking pretty good there, though. <laughs> but it is fine. So make sure you try the recipe. Meatloaf is always good. You can't go wrong with making meatloaf. So, you know, uh, with that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. And then till next time, what you cooking, Roach? <laughs>